Handling interactions with someone who displays narcissistic traits can be challenging. Stoicism, with its focus on self-control, resilience, and compassion, offers valuable insights into managing such relationships effectively while maintaining your inner peace and strength. Here are four Stoic-inspired strategies. 1. Practice Emotional Detachment One of the central Stoic practices is learning to distinguish between what is within our control and what isn't, and then responding with detachment to what isn't. In interactions with narcissists, this can mean not allowing yourself to become overly emotionally invested or upset by their actions or opinions, recognizing these are outside your control. A Stoic might suggest. Acknowledge your emotions without letting them dictate your actions. Remind yourself that another person's behavior is about them, not you. Cultivate a sense of equanimity towards the fluctuating moods or opinions of others. Certainly, practice emotional detachment is a crucial aspect of handling a narcissist's behavior using the Stoic philosophy. Here's a deeper explanation of this concept. Understanding emotional detachment. Emotional detachment is the ability to separate your emotions from the situation or individual at hand. It allows you to respond to challenging situations with clarity and objectivity, rather than being swayed by your emotions. Emotional detachment does not mean suppressing your emotions or dissociating from the situation entirely. Rather, it's about cultivating a sense of inner peace and neutrality, so you can respond to the situation in a more constructive manner. Cultivating Emotional Detachment Cultivating emotional detachment involves several strategies. 1. Acknowledge your emotions, recognize your emotions without becoming overly involved or reactive. Observe your emotions as passing phenomena, rather than identifying with them. 2. Label your emotions, identify the emotion you are feeling without judgment. For example, I am feeling frustrated rather than, I am angry. 3. Let go of attachment to the emotion, allow the emotion to pass without trying to control or change it. Practice letting go of attachment to your emotions, allowing them to arise and pass without getting lost in them. 4. Focus on the present moment, change your focus from the past or future to the present moment. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation or deep breathing, can help you cultivate a greater awareness of the present moment. 5. Practice non-judgment, cultivate a sense of detachment from your thoughts, emotions, and external events by practicing non-judgment. Recognize that all things are impermanent and free from attachment. 6. Develop a sense of acceptance, accept the situation or individual as they are, without trying to change them. Practice acceptance by acknowledging that things are beyond your control and that you must find a way to navigate them with grace and compassion. Benefits of Emotional Detachment Cultivating emotional detachment can have several benefits when dealing with a narcissist, including 1. Less emotional reactivity By practicing emotional detachment, you are less likely to react emotionally to the narcissist's behavior, which can help you maintain a sense of calm and manage the situation more effectively. 2. Greater self-awareness Emotional detachment can help you develop a greater self-awareness of your own emotions, thoughts, and reactions. This increased self-awareness can help you respond to the situation more constructively. 3. Improved resilience. Practicing emotional detachment can help you develop resilience in the face of challenging situations. This resilience can help you cope with the narcissist's behavior more effectively, leading to better mental health outcomes. 4. More constructive communication, by practicing emotional detachment, you can communicate more constructively with the narcissist, avoiding confrontation and focusing on finding solutions. Practicing emotional detachment is a powerful tool for dealing with a narcissist using the Stoic philosophy. By cultivating a sense of emotional detachment, you can respond to the situation more constructively, maintain your mental health, and protect your well-being. Remember, emotional detachment does not mean disconnecting from the situation entirely, it means cultivating a sense of inner peace and neutrality, allowing you to respond to challenging situations with greater clarity and objectivity. 2. Set and maintain healthy boundaries. 
Stoicism teaches the importance of knowing oneself and respecting one's own needs and limitations. Setting boundaries is a way of respecting yourself. It is vital to communicate clearly and assertively what behaviors you will and will not accept. For instance, if a narcissistic individual attempts to belittle you or encroach upon your time unreasonably, calmly and firmly articulate your boundaries. If these boundaries are repeatedly disrespected, be prepared to take further action, such as limiting contact. Setting and maintaining healthy boundaries is a crucial aspect of dealing with a narcissist using the Stoic philosophy. Here's a deeper explanation of this concept. Understanding Healthy Boundaries Healthy boundaries are the limits you set to protect your own mental, emotional, and physical well-being. They are essential in any relationship, especially when dealing with a narcissist, who can be emotionally draining and demanding. Healthy boundaries help you maintain your sense of self, avoid burnout, and promote a more balanced and respectful dynamic in the relationship. Three Key Components of Healthy Boundaries 1. Clarity Define your boundaries clearly and directly, without ambiguity or confusion. Make sure the narcissist understands what you are and are not willing to tolerate. 2. Communication Communicate your boundaries in a calm, assertive manner, without being aggressive or passive. Be prepared to repeat and reinforce your boundaries as needed. 3. Consistency Consistently enforce your boundaries, even if the narcissist pushes back or resist. It's important to be firm but also flexible, willing to adjust boundaries as needed based on the situation. Benefits of setting and maintaining healthy boundaries Setting and maintaining healthy boundaries can help you in various ways when dealing with a narcissist, including 1. Protect your mental and emotional well-being. By setting boundaries, you are protecting your mental and emotional energy from being drained by the narcissist. This can help you avoid burnout and maintain your overall well-being. 2. Prevent emotional manipulation. Healthy boundaries can help you avoid falling prey to the narcissist's emotional manipulation by establishing clear limits on what you are willing to tolerate. 3. Promote respect. Setting and maintaining healthy boundaries can promote respect in the relationship, as the narcissist begins to see you as a person with your own needs and limitations. This can lead to a more balanced and respectful dynamic. 4. Reduce conflict. Establishing clear boundaries can reduce conflict, as both you and the narcissist know what is and isn't acceptable. This can lead to a more peaceful and productive dynamic. Setting and maintaining healthy boundaries is an essential aspect of dealing with a narcissist using the Stoic philosophy. By establishing clear limits, communicating assertively, and being consistent, you can protect your mental, emotional, and physical well-being, promote respect, reduce conflict, and maintain a more balanced dynamic in the relationship. Remember, setting healthy boundaries is not about controlling the narcissist but about protecting yourself and maintaining your own sense of self. 3. Focus on your own virtues. Stoicism holds that our character and our virtues are within our control and should be the focus of our personal development. In dealing with narcissists, centering your actions and reactions on stoic virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and self-discipline can be empowering. For example, exercise patience and understanding, recognizing that the narcissist's behavior often stems from their own struggles. Show courage by not shrinking away from asserting your needs and boundaries. Practice justice by treating the other person with fairness, even when they may not reciprocate. Certainly. Focus on your own virtues is a key aspect of dealing with a narcissist using the Stoic philosophy. Here's a deeper explanation of this concept. Understanding virtues. In Stoic philosophy, virtues are the qualities that define a person's character and moral fiber. Virtues are not mere behaviors or actions but rather innate dispositions that guide our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Examples of virtues include justice, courage, temperance, and wisdom. By focusing on developing and cultivating these virtues within ourselves, we can build a strong and resilient character that will help us navigate challenging situations, including those with narcissists.
Why focus on virtues? Focusing on your own virtues when dealing with a narcissist has several benefits. Avoid being drawn into the narcissist's drama. A narcissist often creates a vortex of drama and chaos around them, drawing in those around them. By focusing on your own virtues, you can avoid getting caught up in this drama and maintain a sense of inner peace and equilibrium. Maintain your composure. When dealing with a narcissist, it's easy to become emotional and reactive. By focusing on your own virtues, you can maintain your emotional composure and respond to the situation in a more constructive manner. Set a positive example, by focusing on your own virtues, you can set a positive example for the narcissist and others around them. This can help create a more respectful and peaceful dynamic in the relationship. Increase empathy, focusing on your own virtues can help increase empathy and compassion within yourself. When you are more attuned to your own emotions and values, you are better able to understand and connect with the emotions and values of others. Cultivate Virtues Cultivating virtues involves several strategies. Practice self-reflection, regularly reflect on your actions and behaviors, identifying areas where you can improve and develop your virtues. Reward yourself, reward yourself when you exhibit virtuous behavior, such as choosing to spend time with people who share your values or engaging in activities that promote personal growth. Surround yourself with positive influences, Surround yourself with people who embody virtues and values that align with your own, as this can help inspire and motivate you to develop these qualities within yourself. Benefits of Focusing on Your Own Virtues Focusing on your own virtues can provide numerous benefits when dealing with a narcissist, including Increased self-awareness By focusing on your own virtues, you become more self-aware and attuned to your own emotions and needs, allowing you to respond to the situation more constructively. Improved relationships, focusing on your own virtues can help improve your relationships with the narcissist and others, as you are more likely to behave in a respectful and compassionate manner. Greater resilience, by focusing on your own virtues, you can build greater resilience and mental toughness, helping you cope with the challenges of dealing with a narcissist. 4. Engage in reflective practices. Stoics are known for their reflective practices, such as journaling and meditation, which help in cultivating an inner sanctuary of calm and strength. These practices can be particularly helpful when dealing with challenging individuals by providing a space to process your interactions with the narcissist without judgment, helping you to maintain perspective and not lose yourself in another person's drama, strengthening your resolve to stick to your principles and boundaries. Engage in reflective practices is a crucial aspect of dealing with a narcissist using the Stoic philosophy. Reflective practices involve introspection, self-awareness, and a willingness to examine one's own thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. By engaging in reflective practices, you can develop a deeper understanding of yourself and your reactions to the narcissist's behavior, ultimately improving your mental health and well-being. Here are some ways to incorporate reflective practices into your daily routine. Journaling Journaling is a powerful reflective practice that involves writing down your thoughts, feelings, and experiences. By putting your thoughts and emotions into words, you can process and release them, gaining a deeper understanding of yourself and your situation. Set aside some time each day to journal, focusing on the following areas. Gratitude Reflect on the things you are grateful for, no matter how small they may seem. This can help shift your focus away from negative thoughts and emotions and cultivate more positive mindset. Mindfulness. Practice mindfulness meditation or mindful breathing focusing on the present moment and letting go of thoughts and emotions that do not serve you. Mindfulness can help you develop a greater sense of self-awareness and calm in the face of challenging situations. Reflection. Take time to reflect on your interactions with the narcissist, examining your reactions and responses. Ask yourself what you could have done differently, what you have learned, and what you can do moving forward. Reflecting on these experiences can help you develop greater self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Meditation 
Meditation is another powerful reflective practice that involves focusing your attention on a particular object, thought, or activity to help quiet the mind and cultivate inner peace. Meditation can help you develop greater self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and resilience in the face of challenging situations. Set aside some time each day to meditate, focusing on your braid, a mantra, or a visualization. Seek feedback. Seek feedback from trusted friends, family, or a therapist can provide valuable insights into your behavior and emotions and help you identify areas for improvement. Be open to constructive criticism and use it as an opportunity to grow and develop. Practice self-compassion. Practice self-compassion by treating yourself with kindness, empathy, and understanding. Acknowledge your emotions and reactions, and offer yourself support and encouragement. Self-compassion can help you develop greater emotional resilience and a more positive mindset. Self-care. Incorporate self-care into your daily routine by engaging in activities that nurture your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. This may include exercise, reading, spending time in nature, or engaging in creative pursuits. Self-care can help you develop greater resilience and maintain your mental health in the face of challenging situations. Maintain boundaries, set and maintain healthy boundaries by being clear, assertive, and consistent in your communication. This can help you protect your mental and emotional well-being and maintain a more balanced dynamic in the relationship. Setting realistic goals, set realistic goals for yourself, both short-term and long-term. This can help you maintain perspective and focus on what is possible and achievable in the present and future. By incorporating reflective practices into your daily routine, you can develop a deeper understanding of yourself and your reactions to the narcissist's behavior. This can help you develop greater emotional intelligence, resilience, and mental health, ultimately allowing you to navigate the situation more effectively and maintain your well-being. Conclusion Dealing with a narcissist can be draining and difficult. However, by applying stoic principles, you can navigate these interactions with greater equanimity, protect your well-being, and perhaps even influence the relationship positively over time. Remember, Stoicism advocates for focusing on self-improvement and responding to others with compassion and understanding, aiming for a balanced and virtuous life.